People is proud to present the fourth season of the 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, which is leading the way in advocating for technology that promotes financial inclusivity. Since 2020, we've profiled over 100 fintechs and our latest season is shining a spotlight on those breaking down digital barriers and transforming lives for the better. So my name's uh, Diman Shah. I lead Craft Silicon as the Chief Executive Officer. Craft Silicon is a fintech that was established in year 2000, so we're 23 years in business. Uh, our focus predominantly we used to be on microfinances. Uh, of course, we've evolved into now commercial banking, uh, Islamic banking, digital banking platforms, payment solutions, anti-money laundering solutions, and our recent innovations in micro lending and buy now pay later platforms. And we started with our core banking suite. So core banking solutions for microfinances, uh, which is something we excel at. We're probably the number one microfinance core banking solution provider in the world. We then have a digital suite that include our mobile banking platform, uh, our retail internet banking, our corporate internet banking solutions, our payment uh, platforms, uh, uh, which are at the back end of our mobile banking, internet banking, uh, anti-money laundering solutions, uh, and uh, other pl platforms such as micro lending platform, buy now platform, they all uh, comprise our core solutions. Well, we serve over 250 banks, uh, microfinances, uh, financial institutions across the world. And through these institutions, we serve about 89 million end users. So we do touch many lives uh, on daily basis. Uh, in terms of uh, customers, our customers are not just the banks and financial institutions. We have now uh, started a division that works with government tax. Yeah, we provide county revenue collection services, government revenue collection services, and we intend to touch millions more uh, through these interactions through either counties or state governments. To put it in perspective, uh, towards the end of last year, we, we processed about seven and a half billion US dollar worth of transactions, uh, and it's growing. Our estimation is by the end of this year, we will have uh, close to about $13 billion worth of transactions going through our platforms. As a FinTech, we certainly face the same challenges that everybody else does. Uh, we, on one hand, we have uh, big threats of cybersecurity. Uh, those are big concerns. Of course, we mitigate these uh, challenges by way of uh, employing certified ethical hackers within our teams. We also have security professionals that, that are on top of their games. That is one challenge. Of course, there are regulatory challenges across the countries that we work with. Uh, and regulatory framework keeps changing. We need to you know, keep up with that. Not only that, privacy laws. So we, of course, work with data security and data privacy laws. But we, this we don't look at as challenges. We look at some of these challenges as opportunities for us to innovate, uh, for us to, to, to literally set standards for the industry. And Craft Silicon continues to do that. But certainly, there are many opportunities, especially as we now look at how we have artificial intelligence, machine learning, you, you've seen ChatGPT. Now, how do we, how do we deploy? How do we harness these technologies for, uh, for the end consumers? How can they take advantage through the platforms that we provide? So we're certainly excelling in that area uh, of artificial intelligence. Uh, some of the products, credit scoring, for instance. Uh, these are the products, or uh, anti-money laundering. These products actually can ben benefit immensely from artificial intelligence. Uh, you know, not, it is not about just providing the rules, but if a system is intelligent enough to understand where the financial crimes are occurring and start looking at those patterns, start highlighting those patterns, we can become very effective at preventing financial crimes. In terms of credit scoring, if we look at the expertise of artificial intelligence, again, in the, in the, in the pursuit of providing fair credit to all consumers, I think artificial intelligence will be very helpful because you can check many, many uh, data point touch points simultaneously and contribute towards the score, fair score for the consumer. The need for innovation is universal. 
it is not that the West needs this and Africa doesn't need this now. Uh, so that West can go first and then we'll go next. Uh, so I think we look at the, the needs and the challenges that the consumers face on everyday basis as a global requirement. And we certainly are blessed in, in Africa with the talent pool that we have. So our job is to see how do we harness this talent pool that we have at our disposal? How do we deploy these people and, and motivate these people to innovate uh, and come up with solutions that not only mimic the, the solutions um, that are outside solutions, you know, Western solutions or whatever we call them, but how do we come up with our own solutions that address our unique requirements of Africans? Uh, we don't always have to copy, get, you know, copy everything that the West does. There are areas where we excel. Uh, if you look at our mobile money uh, business, uh, M-Pesa is a good example. We excel the rest of the world in some of this technology. So our goal is to not just uh, simply look at the products that are outside and see how we can utilize them in Africa. But our goal is to look at our needs in Africa, unique needs of Africans, and come up with the solutions utilizing the talents we have here. The 40 Day 40 FinTech initiative is extremely critical. Uh, it creates awareness. It doesn't create awareness amongst just the, uh, our peer groups or the FinTechs alone. It creates that uh, awareness among the users. Uh, people get to know what technologies are available, where, you know, who are the people behind it, what are their philosophies. So this is not just uh, a flash of uh, knowledge that says, hey, Craft Silicon is doing this. Who are the people at Craft Silicon? What are the motives? Or what, uh, what is their philosophy? Why are they doing what they're, you know, why are they doing the things that they do? When people know that they can align with our vision. Uh, and, and this is what, you know, this is the role 40 Days 40 FinTech Initiative uh, plays very well, in my opinion. So certainly, Craft Silicon will continue to innovate in the fintech business. We have been uh, <clears throat> uh, voted amongst the 50 fastest growing fintechs in Africa. Uh, we will continue some of our newer platforms uh, that offer a huge benefit to the consumers, not just to borrow money, but more borrow money responsibly or even uh, get access to credit where they need it the most, so buy now, pay later platforms that we are now uh, rolling out through many of our partner banks within Kenya and in Africa. Uh, consumers will continue to benefit uh, from our innovations. That is our pledge to the consumers. Uh, and our customers certainly uh, are very, very valuable part of being the bridge between the end customers and uh, technology. Uh, but certainly uh, we have a lot of information on our website. Uh, anyone can go to www.craftsilicon.com to get information about our products, our vision, our charitable foundation also, uh, you know, some of the initiatives that we do um, in corporate social responsibility, they can get more information from our website. Join us in this financial inclusivity revolution presented in partnership with Level 1 Project, Cyber PLC Academy, Cross Select Technologies, Infitex, Ideation Corner, and the Modulo Foundation with generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Follow hashtag 40 Days for the Fintechs, hashtag Level 1 Project to learn more and get involved in creating a brighter financial future for all.